These are the finds that I found at my local Habitat for Humanity last, humanity last week. I didn't uh, record all the toys there, but I got me this 1972 UR Universal Rundle New Mercury. And this 2005 Gerber. It seems to bring pretty good conditions. Now let me take a look. There it is. Well, now it's actually from 2002. The bowl said 2002, but the tank said 2005, but I'm going to buy the bowl. So it's a 2002 bridge. And here's my 72 year old new mercury. Recitations. I'm not sure which one. And as you can see, my thing is this. Got no part and everything. Now let me keep it real back on. There is two more toilets that I got somehow on my aunt's car. But I'll show you them. Okay, we go over here. That's where I just got today, and over there, those two that I got last week. And I got me this 2021 bridge, but I was cleaning it with acid, and I accidentally rubbed the logo off. It's a 2021, it doesn't have a tank. And let me move this tank off for this bridge. But it moves. This is a 1995 Elger. The logo also came off of it when I was playing it with acid, so now I'm, I'm not going to put acid on the logos anymore. From 1995, got it for $5. And that one over there, that's for $5. And the new one, Mercury, was $15. And then the Briggs over there, I mean Gerber, I think it's a Gerber Maxwell, but let me know. And then, I got this for $3. It's a pretty short toilet, so I'm not sure if it's a baby toilet or not. But, I don't think it is, because it's the same height as most of my toilets. But, see, this is a regular height. This is like the shortest height toilet for throwing up that there is. And look at that. There's... I think I about broke it, but... See, there's a big size difference. So, I think this is a baby toilet. I think I about busted it, but... Of course, these baby toilets can't even pass a wash cloth. And that rim design, right there... Okay. Right here. Right here. Right. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel.